crews had to bail out, four others crash landed, and because of the damage of the bombing was great, was minimal, and all the aircraft had been lost, Lieutenant Colonel Doolittle thought he would be court-martialed. Instead, he was field promoted to Brigadier General and given the Medal of Honor. The Japanese vulnerability of their homeland was pounded and, uh, and no longer was safe, and these aircraft of this type helped win the war. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look high above. It's the Aerostar, Aerostar's formation aerobatic team as they come through high and above doing a loop. To the left and the right, Paul Hornick and David Monroe are going to cross now at show center. Watch them both roll upright. They're going to dive toward each other, closing at over 400 miles per hour. Watch for the cross. They'll quickly back. Just missing each other. How about that? Let's give it up for the Aero Stars aerobatic team. Now the rejoin comes. And the Aero Stars in their Yak-52 aircraft set up for formation flying. This is a huge, huge challenge for these guys. No matter what the weather is, it is the responsibility of lead pilot Harvey Meek to choose the right altitude, airspeed, and attitude to safely start and complete each maneuver. Paul Hornet on the left wing and David Monroe on the right wing have no reference to the sky or the ground. They only are looking at a spot on the lead aircraft as they go over the top with a barnstormer's loop. Formation flying is a big challenge for those guys. They literally are visually locked on to a spot on the lead aircraft. Now as they come back around, they'll set up for a barrel roll using the ailerons, elevators, rudder, and throttle to start and stop at the same altitude and airspeed. It's a challenge for one, but a huge challenge for three to do it. Let's take a look. These rush-built Yak-52 aircraft were trainers for the Soviet bloc. Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, Republic, Socialist Republic in uh, the Cold War. There you go. Now, from the thick formation that you see there, they'll call smoke off, and they'll come back around from the right, and they will set up then in what is known as a line abreast formation. It will be more and more challenging for these guys because now Paul and Dave will go right up alongside, wing to wing, with the pilot, Harvey Lee. They will look 90 degrees to their right and to left and throughout this entire loop. They will stay line abreast. Up they go. Get your cameras ready. We've got another one coming up. As we set up this time for what is known as the breakaway cross, another signature maneuver of the team. They will dive down from the left, go into a looping maneuver, make a quarter turn away from us, and then Harvey will pull up. Paul and Dave will then turn into one another and cross just feet apart. This is called the breakaway cross. Let's listen as they go up. Let's give them a round of applause.
Now crossing again, Paul and Dave right at show center again, just canopy to canopy. These guys work very hard. Just this past year, their first time is when they flew at Oshkosh, Wisconsin at the Experimental Aircraft Association's annual air venture fly-in. Coming up, it's the flip of the flop. On the left, we've got Harvey Mee and Paul Hornet. And on the right, David Monroe. Let's watch for the flip and the flop maneuver. Approaching show center, Harvey Mee will half roll the airplane inverted. Coming at him, David Monroe. Now there's the flip, now watch for the flop. And there's the cross. Now both. One and two, now roll up right. Dives into the formation, throttle all the way forward to catch up to get back into, this, into position. David Monroe will climb off to the left and keep your eyes on the next part of our show. The winds are very good today for what we're about to see. Harvey Meek and Paul Hornick will set up to do the heart. And then David Monroe, who you see alone and out in front of us, will climb and pierce that heart. And the light's just shining so beautifully here today. It's almost as if it's a, as if it's a mirror to my soul. Now watch if they pull up. Watch for the half roll by Paul Hornick. Watch for the smoke to come on. Here comes the heart. This is a good one for the cameras. You can send this into air show bus. Watch for the cross down at the bottom. David Monroe. Perfect cross. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the beer star. Give it up for the Aero Stars. You can do better than that. An opportunity for all three aircraft to get back together and do to do a tight Vic or V formation loop. They're going to reposition to give them a chance to uh, have a little break as they uh, finish this loop up. They're going to get into what we call uh, what we call a line of rest loop. Then after that, but this gives them a chance to get into what they're accustomed to doing and flying this Vic formation to make three aircraft appear to be flying as one. The Yak-52s weigh about 2,000 pounds each. The wingspan is 32 feet. The power of the 400 horsepower engine gives them a maximum speed of about 260 miles per hour. And it is the engines on these aircraft turn the propellers opposite direction. As, opposed, as, as compared to American or Western European built engines, where the propeller from the pilot's point of view in our airplanes turns in a clockwise rotation, clockwise direction, on these aircraft, they turn in a counterclockwise direction. Those of you who are pilots who know, have to, you, know you have to apply right rudder on takeoff to counteract torque. Uh, in these airplanes, the pilots have to do some left rudder to counteract torque. Now, watch the line of rest formation. We saw a line of rest loop earlier. This time, watch the formation change as they go from line of rest, which is going to come on, back into the big formation with Paul and Dave now coming off the power and tucking right back in.
He holds airline transport pilot licenses in three countries and presently flies for a major international airline. He's flown everything to F-18 Hornets to the 747, but right now he likes flying his yak the most. Left wing Paul Hornick has over 22 years of flying experience with over 6,000 hours of flight time ranging an aircraft from a Piper Cub to an Airbus 300. Now coming through in the echelon formation, I believe. There's the pitch up from Harvey, Paul, and David as they do a barrel roll break. Paul Horton currently flies the Gulfstream 200 domestically and internationally. David Moreau, the tail end Charlie there, chasing around as they braid their smoke through the sky here over Pensacola. Was born in Minneapolis, he grew up in an airline family. He sold it when he was 16, got his private pilot's license on his 17th birthday, and currently flies a Boeing 767 for an international airline. As a Czech airman, certified flight instructor, advanced aerobatic competition pilot as well. He's got over 23,000 hours of flying time in many different aircraft. Now watch here as we set up for a very unique formation demonstration. This is called the Twinkie Roll. Watch for Harvey Meek to roll and burn it. They stay in this formation and then watch for the roll of all three aircraft now, all the way around. Half roll by Harvey, full rolls by Paul and David, and they tuck it right back in. And they're going to be bringing it into land here very, very shortly. So as they do, would you join me in one last round of applause for the AeroStars Formation Aerobatic Team. In, I believe they're going to pitch up to land, and so let me just share their great sponsors, MT Propeller, RC Allen, Z-Vision, Byron Bank, Easy Heat Engine Heaters, Sennheiser Headsets, and Canon Insurance. From the Yakolev Design Bureau in Russia, the Yak-52 trainers of the Aerostars. Hey, you can visit the Home Depot booth today to learn how you can take part in the kids' workshop. Don't forget the Home Depot is a proud supporter of the Navy and local events of the Pensacola community, including today's show. With over 2,000 stores nationwide, job site delivery, will call pickup, and a GSA schedule contract. The Home Depot makes it easy to get all the maintenance and construction supplies you need. Visit the Home Depot booth today to learn more about the expert service and product selection you need to get the job done fast. Be sure to visit the Kia Auto Sport of Pensacola 10 and register to win the new 2010 Kia Ford. Prices start at around $13,995 and you can also check out the 2011 Kia Sorento built in the USA along with the rest of the 2011 Kia line. Kia Auto Sport of Pensacola and Car City. We want to see you in a Kia. Thanks to the State Farm agents, proud to sponsor the Blue Angels Homecoming Show again this year. Visit State Farm's booth to have some fun and get your free gift. Thanks to the Penn Air Federal Credit Union, dedicated to strength, security, and service, and determined to meet our members' changing needs and be their financial choice. Penn Air Federal Credit Union, serving the military and civil service, active and retired since 1936. Thanks to Siemens Building Technology. The folks at Siemens are a leading provider of energy solutions, building controls, electrical distribution equipment, fire and safety and security systems. Siemens solutions enable America's buildings to be more comfortable, secure, and less costly to operate. A special thanks to one of our aviation sponsors, L3 Vertex Aerospace, proudly supporting naval aviation through aircraft maintenance and support.